हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू एस एफ टी सी फैक्स अकेडमी ए लॉट ऑफ यू गाइज हैज आस्क मी हाउ यू कैन जॉइन सेल्स फोर्स और हाउ कैन यू अप्लाई फॉर ए रोल हेयर एट सेल्स फोर्स सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट ए लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स लाइक हाउ यू कैन लुक फॉर ऑल दी ओपन पोजिशन हेयर एट सेल्स फोर्स हाउ यू कैन अप्लाई फॉर ए पोजिशन वट इज अ जनरल इंटरव्यू पैटर्न हेयर एट सेल्स फोर्स एंड वट काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन यू मे फेस इन ए नॉर्मल इंटरव्यू हेयर एट सेल्स फोर्स so when i am saying salesforce here in this video i mean salesforce as a company not salesforce as a technology so we will be talking about a lot of things here and hopefully i'll answer most of your questions and also we need to keep in mind that i work here at salesforce as a member of technical staff so i will not be able to share few of the confidential details but i still try to give a clear picture of the overall interview process here at salesforce So let's start with the most important question first. How you can apply for a role here at Salesforce? So there are multiple ways to apply for a role. The best way is to apply through the Salesforce job portal. I'll paste the link of Salesforce job portal in the description of this video, and there you can check all the open position for all offices of Salesforce. So if you find any position suitable to your profile, you may go ahead and apply for that particular position. now the catch here is like you can also apply for a positions outside your home country as well so for example if you are currently in india you can also apply for position outside india as well and if your resume is shortlisted salesforce may contact you and if you clear all your rounds then salesforce may sponsor your visa as well apart from the salesforce job portal you can also check out all the open positions through the salesforce linkedin page as well they list down all the open position there i guess and from there also you can apply for a particular position i also recommend you to keep your linkedin profile up to date because sometimes a salesforce recruiter may reach out to you if they find your profile suitable to an open position here at salesforce and this would be another way to get an interview from salesforce so if you apply for a position through salesforce job portal or through linkedin i highly recommend that you get a referral for yourself that means you need to reach out to a person who already works at salesforce to refer you for a particular position this always increases your chance to get an interview call so please do get a referral for yourself and reach out to someone via linkedin to refer you now before i discuss the interview process here at salesforce i just want to clear this out that the interview process may differ based on the team that you are applying for or the kind of work that you will be doing here at salesforce so what i mean is like uh, the interview process for a support profile will be different than the interview process for a uh, developer profile and there can be different type of developer positions as well like they can be a full stack developer position they can be a sales for developer position as well and all of these positions they may have different interview process or different number of rounds of interview so here in this video we are going to discuss a general interview process like how many rounds can be there and how those rounds will proceed so let's say you applied for a role here at salesforce and your resume got shortlisted by the hiring manager then your recruiter will reach out to you and they will let you know about it and after that your interview process will start so your interview process will generally start with a online technical assessment round so the basic idea behind this technical assessment round is to test your technical abilities like how fast you can code or how efficiently you can code and also how well you can explain the code that you are writing so generally in this particular round you will be asked to join a hangout call or a skype call or any type of online conferencing call where the interviewer will give you some idea about the team that you are going to join and he'll also let you speak about yourself and the kind of work that you have done so far and after that he'll share a doc with you where he'll also share a problem statement for which you need to write your solution so this problem can be related to the data structures and algorithm if you are applying for a normal software engineer position but if you are applying for a salesforce developer position then there are chances that this problem will be related to uh, 
may be writing a trigger in salesforce or any kind of class in salesforce or maybe again it could be related to the data structures or algorithm so the interviewer will give you the problem statement and then you'll get some time to think about the solution so before you write your solution always discuss this with your interviewer and if you both agree on the solution then only start writing your solution and always make sure that you explain your code while you are writing it so this gives an uh, impression or this leaves an impression on the interviewer that you can also explain your code while you are writing it so let's say you have cleared your online technical assessment round then the recruiter will reach out to you again and will let you know about it and this time your recruiter may ask you to come to a salesforce office to appear for further on site rounds the salesforce will take care of all the cost involved to travel to a salesforce office for these rounds and they'll also take care of your lunch and everything for that day now these multiple on site interviews will again test you on your technical abilities and also on your solution designing as well so there will be multiple coding rounds so be prepared to write code on white paper and also on the white boards as well so you will be given multiple set of problems and you need to write your solution you need to discuss your solution and you need to explain the complexity of your solution as well like what is the time complexity of your a uh, solution what is the space complexity of your solution there can be solution designing questions as well where you will be given a problem statement or a scenario and you need to design the solution for that particular problem statement or the scenario you need to defend uh, your solution like why your solution is the best or uh, why it will work for that particular scenario so make sure that you prepare for the solution designing questions as well so to prepare for these uh, coding questions which can be related to data structures and algorithm and for the solution designing questions you can uh, i think prepare it from interview bit or lead code or hacker rank or from anywhere like there are a lot of online portal from where you can uh, prepare for these type of questions you can always ask a recruiter to actually give you some time before they schedule your on site interviews so that you can prepare for uh, your technical skills and the solution designing skills the good thing about this on site interviews is uh, the outcome of one interview does not decide whether you will be appearing for the next interview or not that means irrespective of your previous interview you will be sitting in all the interviews on this day and these interviewers they'll sit together later on to actually share the feedback of each and every interview and a collective feedback will be taken in the end to actually decide whether you are selected for that position or not so if you think that you have messed up one of the on site interviews please do not get disappointed because you can do good in the next interview and in the end the collective feedback will decide whether you are selected for a, a position or not mm, what else yeah so when you are going through an interview please don't get tensed if you uh, don't have any solution for the particular question that you may face so always ask as many questions as you can from the interviewer to actually help you get to a solution for that particular problem statement or the scenario this leaves an impression on the interviewer as well that you are discussing everything before jumping for the solution so in the end i just want to share my personal experience like how i was approached for a role here at salesforce so when i was working with my previous employer one of the guy from the salesforce hyderabad office he reached out to me via linkedin so this guy he was a software engineer here and he liked my profile on linkedin and he asked me like whether i am interested for a role here at salesforce or not obviously i said yes and i sent him my resume he referred me here and my resume got shortlisted by the hiring manager so fortunately i cleared all my interview rounds so there were like five to six interview rounds that i have given and uh, after clearing all these rounds uh like they offered me a role here at salesforce and i joined here uh, at salesforce hyderabad office in 2017 so i think that's pretty much summarize the salesforce interview process in the next video i'll try to you know give more insight about the salesforce developer role here at salesforce.com so in this video i have talked about a general interview process and like for a software engineer or a software developer role but i'll try to give uh, you know more details about this salesforce developer role here at salesforce as well in the next video 
so please do give a thumbs up if you like this video and share this video with all your friends and good luck with your interviews bye bye